In this video, we're jumping into Adobe After Effects and I'm gonna show you how to morph one shape into another one. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe After Effects and you've got a brand new composition created, we're first just going to begin by creating a new shape. So we're just going to go up to this bar up here. So this is the rectangle tool here. So we'll just begin with a nice simple rectangle. So we'll just select that. Then we'll go across to here, we've got fill and stroke. So if you select fill, the word fill, you can either select no fill, solid color, linear gradient or radial gradient. I'm just gonna leave this as solid and I'll leave this as white. Then I'm just going to remove the stroke. So I'm just going to click the word stroke and then this option here is none, so no stroke. I'll press okay on that and then this box disappears because there's no stroke. So from here, you just want to draw out your rectangle or your square somewhere in your composition like this. Then from there, we can just go ahead and draw our next shape. So in this example, if we pull down the rectangle, we can see we've got ellipse tool. So I'm just going to select ellipse tool. And again, I'm just going to draw out our shape like this. So as you can see, if I turn this top layer off, we've got a rectangle there and then we've got a circle there. So what I want to do is I want to turn this rectangle into the circle. So the rectangle is layer one. So in order to do that, we want to go into the contents of that shape layer. So we'll go contents, rectangle one, rectangle path one. We'll right click that and select convert to Bezier path. This one is really important. So make sure you select convert to Bezier path. And then you just want to go into the path and somewhere where you want that transition to start, you just want to create a brand new keyframe on that path. Now we'll just do the same thing to the second layer, the circle layer. So we'll go into contents, ellipse one, ellipse path one, we'll right click that and select convert to Bezier path. Then we'll just go into path one and create a brand new keyframe on the path. Then from there, what we'll do is copy this keyframe. So I'm going to highlight that. And then on the keyboard, I'm on Mac and I'm going to go command C. If you're on Windows, I believe that is control C. So we've copied that and then we're just going to select the layer below. So we'll select the path on the layer below and we'll go Command V or Control V. So essentially we've copied the mask properties of this top layer and then we've pasted them onto this layer below. So you can kind of see that shape moving behind. So from here, we can just get rid of that circle layer. Now we'll play this back and you can see we're converting our rectangle into a circle, which looks really cool. Of course, at the moment though, this looks a bit robotic and a bit dull, and that is because the keyframes are set to linear keyframes. So we're going to convert those into easy ease keyframes. So highlight both, right click, keyframe assistant, and select easy ease. Let's have a look at that one now. There you go, that's a lot more beautiful. The motion is a lot more seamless. Nice. So of course, if you want to turn that back into a rectangle, then you would just create a brand new keyframe on that path again. And then we'll copy this first keyframe because this is the one that represents the rectangle. So we'll Command C, move across and Command V. Let's see how that looks. That looks really good. Now, essentially, that is the morph now complete. But if you wanted to spice this up a little bit and add some extra keyframes in, then you are more than welcome to. So maybe we'll add a little bit more rotation here. So it's rotating anti-clockwise, but if we go into transform, create a brand new keyframe on the rotation at the beginning of this motion, so rotation there, then we'll go to the second keyframe and we'll rotate this negative 90 degrees. Let's see how that looks. There you go, you can see that's rotating even more now. Of course, we could even take that further if we wanted to, so let's go for negative 180. There you go, that's really fast and that does a lot of movement. So if that is too fast, then you can either adjust that value or you can just increase the gap between those keyframes so that it takes longer to get there, like so. Of course, though, we want to convert these keyframes as well. So we'll select, right click, keyframe assistant and select easy ease. So let's just play that back. There you go. We've got our shape converting from our rectangle into our circle ellipse and then it goes back into the rectangle of course i'm just going to nudge this across and we'll speed up this action see how that looks and there you go that looks really cool of course you are more than welcome to change this shape as well so when it converts back into the rectangle maybe you create a new point so rather than going into this rectangle it actually goes into maybe a house so circle 
into a house shape or alternatively we can delete some of these mask points so let's delete this corner one and then we'll turn that into a triangle as you can see though unfortunately by deleting the points it's actually deleting this back here so instead of deleting that what we will do instead is just move these points to the same point so we'll just pop them on top of each other like that so you can see our circle is turning into this triangle of course though you can see because we've changed the positioning of these points this circle now looks a little bit weird so feel free to go back onto that keyframe load up the pen tool again and then just move these points around or feel free to drag these around until you get that perfect circle back again so something like this so as you can see we're turning that circle into that triangle there and of course, you can just keep carrying on that motion. So we'll just make a new keyframe there. So select the path, new keyframe over here, and then we'll just move those points to somewhere else. So let's select the pen tool and let's drag these points away from each other like this. So we're going circle, triangle into this shape here. And of course, again, if you wanted to slow this down, just increase the gap between those keyframes and that slows down that motion. But there you go. That is the basics of how you can morph shapes into one another inside of Adobe After Effects. You can get some really interesting effects and results when you use this technique. So go ahead, experiment with this effect. Just remember, convert to Bezier path is the most important part of this process. Once you've done that, you just mess with the keyframes and you get this really cool morphing effect. And there you go. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.